Hello guys, welcome to my channel Rahul Automation Studio. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can launch a Chrome browser in your Selenium project. So to launch a Chrome browser, first of all, you need a Chrome driver.exe file. So which you can download from the internet. Just go to your browser and search with Chrome driver download. Once you will search, you will find the link for it. Please make sure the driver version that you are downloading, it should be matched with your browser version. So how you can check your Chrome browser version which you are using, just go to the help section, click on about Google Chrome. So you will find the version number for your Google Chrome. So it should be matched with the Chrome driver that you are downloading. So suppose if I am using 99.0.4844 so you have to download like 99.0.4844 you have to click on it and it will download for you so once you have downloaded you have to put in your selenium project so i have already downloaded chrome driver compatible with my chrome browser and i have placed it under the resources folder so under the resources you can see it is a chrome driver.exe file so once you have downloaded the chrome driver.exe file you can start writing the code for it so we will be writing one method public static void launch browser right So first of all, you have to declare one variable for the web driver. Web driver, driver. So we will be declaring it the outside of this method so that we can access this variable throughout the class. Okay. We will make it as a static. So now, you can access this variable in your launch browser method. So first of all, we have to get the path for the Chrome driver.exe file. So just type string directory equal to system dot get property. So first of all, what we are trying to do is we are getting the path for our project directory. So this will give the path for the project directory. So after that, we will whatever or wherever location we uh, the project will be, it will automatically fetch that particular absolute path till the project. So after that, we will append the rest of it. Now system dot set property. So in the set property web driver dot chrome dot driver so you have to write it like this and after that you have to pass the path directory plus so what is the path so just go to that particular chrome driver dot exe go to the absolute path and just copy it paste it here so from c till selenium practice this is our project path so we can delete it because we already have uh, that particular path in our directory variable. So after that, it will append in this, this, this. Now we have to do driver equal to new Chrome driver. You must be thinking, so we have declared the variable of a web driver and we are declared uh, initiating and creating the object of a Chrome driver, right? So why we are not taking it as a Chrome driver, right? So we can also take it as a Chrome driver and we can create a object of a Chrome driver. We can do that, but the problem is if we want to initiate our test case and we want to run our test case in different browsers, suppose we want to run in a IE, or maybe we want to run a Safari or in a S browser. So in that case, you will not be able to use the same variable throughout your application, right? 
so you have to declare the different variable for different chrome uh, different browsers so here you can declare as a web driver right so you can declare it as a web driver and web driver variable will store the object of a chrome driver as well as for i or is any any browser that it will store right so here web driver you can declare a variable for it and you can assign that particular object in that particular variable so you can for chrome i or is any browser that you can assign so that's why you should write always like a web driver interface uh, object reference and you can create a object for any chrome or i driver class okay so now we can do and initialize driver dot get so we have to pass the url in it so we will drive to launch a google.com website right so our launching of a chrome driver and navigation to the google.com we have written the code now we have to call this particular method in our main method so just launch it like launch browser right so directly you can call this method in your main method because both are the static methods so one static method you can call in your another static method so let's try to execute this test case and it should launch a chrome browser with the google.com navigation here so it is doing the logging longer is there so that's why it is showing so much information and you can see our browser has been launched and google.com website has been successfully loaded in our browser and our test case has been passed so we already have the extent report for it so let's go to extent report.html and just open it so you can see yeah test case has been passed for you and we have run on 25th of march 12 32 so yeah this is the latest report for us we can add any type of log in this particular report based on your requirement based on your step so this is how you can launch a chrome browser in your selenium project so thank you guys please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all bye